Now, every country needs educated professionals to help it grow, but developing countries traditionally lose out with the brain drain migration. The Aga Khan Academies, which are part of the Aga Khan Development Network, provide a world-class IB education to children, regardless of social and economic background, with a mission to produce homegrown leaders. We went to visit two of the academies in India and Kenya to find out why their alumni are so committed to helping to improve their home countries. At the Aga Khan Academies in Mombasa in Kenya and Hyderabad in India, children and young people are learning today how to become the leaders of tomorrow. Both schools follow an international baccalaureate curriculum designed to give them a global view as well as a focus on local realities. Joining this academy really um, enabled me to widen my horizon, um, broaden my prospects and also provided me a vision to my ambition. You take whatever you learn and actually apply it outside school, which is what I really enjoy. If I'm unable to find a connection to the real world, it doesn't make that much sense to me. And IB really allows you to do that. Famous quote is, we're the leaders of tomorrow, but actually I strongly believe that we're the leaders of today. What we do today is what shapes us. We approach leadership in a different way. We teach it overtly, we encourage students to develop it. And it's interesting that His Highness's vision and mission and the IB's mission uh, chime together very clearly here. We're hoping to achieve students of really high performance at the end, who will go on to the best universities in the world, but who will then return to India or return to Kenya in order to then make a difference in the countries where they have come from. The Aga Khan Academies also believe if you're talented, your background should be no barrier to realising your ability. And their innovative talent identification programme enables students from disadvantaged communities to join their schools at no financial cost to their families. We are aiming to bring into the school students who are academically able, who show leadership potential from academically and socioeconomically marginalised areas. Uh, to give them the opportunity to come in and access a very uh, rigorous program that is one of the best education systems in the world uh, and to give them the opportunity to develop as leaders through our mentorship program. I come from the western side of Kenya. The school um, has provided me the opportunities that I would, I would have otherwise not found at home. And apart from that, I've grown to know that I'm supposed to give back to my community. And that's, that's what has led me to do things like um, community and service. Um, and things like um, taking leadership positions in the school so that I can make my community to be better than the day. So we have five elements which we think are essential to creating students as the kinds of leaders we want. Pluralism, ethics, cultures, governance and civil society, and economics for development. And what we try and do is use those as lenses through which we teach the curriculum content so that students are actually building those understandings, those skills, those dispositions, which we think are essential for them to be leaders in the developing world. And to give young people the skills to work in their home countries, the academies teach from an early age in both English and the national language where the school is located. It's important to learn Kiswahili or also different languages because in Mombasa, many people speak Kiswahili, so if you learn the language, you'll be able to communicate with many people. And the Aga Khan Academies aim to ensure at least 80% of their teachers come from the regions where the schools are located. And each academy includes a professional development centre for teacher training. These centres provide professional development both within the schools and through outreach in the wider community. Since 2010, have been doing this training program for the government school teachers and the impact of the program was very good. We were able to see the changes in the teachers, not only in the teachers, we were able to see the changes even in the classroom level. We don't exist in isolation, we belong to our community. So we want an overflow of what we are doing to go out and reach to the schools around. So we identify their needs and then we go inside, we check within our faculty who can offer what. What do we have which can be shared? 
So we are multiplying the benefits we have here at the academy to other schools around the country. And the students are encouraged to better themselves through diverse learning experiences, as well as take action to improve the lives of others through community service. It is important for them to understand the issues that are affecting the communities. It is very important for them also to experience these issues so that when they get to hear from the community, they also have experienced them and they can make informed judgments. Service just doesn't start at DP. Service is there throughout your MYP as well. And I think being able to give back to the community is very essential in any student's life. Coming to the academy has given me a wider range of opportunities. Uh, it gives me a chance to explore myself and express myself in many forms. The IB curriculum talks about lifelong leaders, lifelong learners, and uh, internationally minded people who are culturally rooted. Nice to see you. For the academy's alumni, these are lessons in life they never forget. It taught me the importance of looking back at where I come from. Think about that others who are not as privileged as you are and give back to them. Give them a little bit of that experience, help them improve their quality of life. I was taught that in as much as you can achieve a lot of things academically and professionally, you also need to be ethical. And added to that is the desire and interest in working with the community, which was also born and developed here. It's the vision and mission of the Aga Khan Academies to transform lives and communities. And with 16 more schools planned across Africa, Central and South Asia and the Middle East, it's hoped many more young people can take advantage of an education and ethos that offers this pluralistic and public-minded outlook.